with Samantha from Lincoln University at the film festival for the Faces of Our Father. She helped us out and she worked with us, but she's going to share with us some of her thoughts about the festival. So truly, I do believe that the film festival is such a great blessing to members of our community, especially here on the campus of the first HBCU. It's very important because it's true that in the black community, so many of us are struggling with our fathers or don't have them at all or have no clue where they are or who they could be. But experiences like these teach us not only to appreciate our biological fathers, but those who are just willing to stand in and to teach us the good and bad of what they know about life and survival and how to protect and proclaim for us. I think that's just it's the most amazing part of this experience. Okay, what did you think about the birthday present? I thought that the birthday present was a sad, sad story because how dare you play that trick on a good man. But hey, um, things like that happen. But it, it, I think it's, I want to see a sequel because I want to know what he did. Did he stay or did he go? That's what I really want to know. You want to know, right? I just right. want to know. <laughs> well, will you be following the book of Nimrod? Of course, of course. And she said it's going nationwide. So yes, I will be there. All right. I will be in attendance. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. I enjoyed myself a whole lot. I thought that the the choice of the compilation of videos is really a great job. It really conveyed a lot of different facets of fatherhood with the father killing the mother and then to the drug dealer father raising his daughter as living as he could. I think they did a great job and even after the Q&A session I think the directors of the videos did a great job of actually being personal and really answering the questions with sincerity and genuine, gen, gen, genuineness and I actually appreciated that a lot so I, had a, I enjoyed myself a lot. All right, thank you, Jasmine. All right, Aaron. I really want to go home and watch the book of Nimrod. <laughs> like, that's going to be on uh, nonstop on my laptop. But it was amazing and very empowering how they talk to us like real people and like uh, you actually got to feel how they, why they picked the topics that they did. Um, hi. I think the festival, like, together, it was very good because... Like majority of the two of the three films we've seen like showed a positive role of fathers and then one of them showed you a different insight. We, we stereotyped the book of Nimrod because we assumed that the father was going to be like a hard father because how he got baby. But I, I think the whole festival together was very well put and I would come every time you have it and I would tell everybody about it. All right, well thank you and keep following us, okay? All right, thank you. So the film festival was amazing and I think that experiences like this are such a blessing to us as black students, to the black community because it's true that there are so few who really have their true father. And I think experiences like these teach us to appreciate not only our biological fathers, but men who stand in as fathers, men who are willing to put aside all the bad that they know to try to teach us the good and even to teach us the bad if it means it's good for our survival. So really, I want to shout out to all of the directors who took the time to come here and to be with us today. And truly, thank you so much. And please come back. We really want you back. And if I'm the only person in the theater, I promise I will be there and I will be in attendance and I will be working with you. Thank you so much.